I'm Dr. Joy. And I'm Dr. Rapture. Ah, uh, this is Joy and Rapture's... Matinee of Madness. Yes, and tonight we have a wonderful, amazing horror movie for you. Yes, one of the most definitive horror films of all time. One of the most original zombie movies. Uh, what was it? George A. Romero's... Ah, Night of the Living Dead. Dead. Ooh, yes, it's going to be delightful. Now, now, this this is the original zombie movie, isn't it? The one that started the whole craze. Well, I mean, there were zombie films here and there, but nothing like Romero's. Yes, this defined a genre. Any modern zombie really takes its roots from this original movie, and though there are remakes, this okay, one. Okay, remakes, but this one this is one the quintessential. Is the top notch of the best. Yeah, so let's start up George A. Romero's definitive vision in Night of the, the Living, Living Dead. Dead. Robin! Mm. Uh, do you guys want the cut or the uncut version? The uncut version? Alright. What? What are you doing? Eating. You're eating a human hand. Yeah, I mean, it's Haven't okay. Haven't you been watching the movie? Yeah. Zombies eat people. You shouldn't eat people. Ugh. What? Have you ever tried it? No! Well, sit here. Try it. I don't want to eat human flesh, I just said zombies eat human flesh, not people! Don't knock it until you try it. Fair point. Uh, yeah, that stuff's good, isn't it? It's is delicious. It could use some hot sauce. Robbie, ranch dressing! I'm, I'm disappointed. I don't want to speak ill of George A. Romero's definitive vision, but they're killing a lot of zombies. I know. I mean, zombies are like some of the best workers I have ever met in my life. I know. And they're wonderful test subjects for most of my experiments. I mean, they're, they're kind. Uh, they, they get rid of pesky people. <laughs> Not to mention that if you are using them for experiments, Peter isn't up your ass at all. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Ah, people. Just, just upsetting. Go to commercial. We'll be back. Oh. What a wonderful movie. It was quite brilliant. Yes. I was a little upset with the portrayal of Barbara because honestly, women are not that weak. Well, this was produced in 1968. Eight. Eight. And women as a whole at that time really were not uh, the ass kickers of today's cinema. That is true, yes. but... It was quite the groundbreaking film for the African Americans. Exactly. Now, you might notice that the style of filming in this delicious movie was a uh, very uh, documentary style. It was one of the original guerrilla filmmakings, as we call it today, yes. where they were going for what they called wartime footage. Hmm. Now, because it was so indie, the primary uh, investors were the the ten people in the production company themselves. And their family. Yes, and uh, as such, most of the props and costumes were donated. Most of the entrails you saw were in fact donated by a crew member whose father ran a successful chain of butcher shops. And all the blood you saw in the film was actually Bosco's chocolate syrup. Delightful! No wonder the zombies were going crazy for the meat. Chocolate covered ham! Delicious! Now, I always, I often wonder what the portrayal of zombies going forward from this, in, this flick. Hmm. You know, we can always ask our zombie announcer. Yeah, zombie announcer! What did you think of the zombie Zombie announcer offended. Oh. Movie made light of plight of zombie. Um, we have reviewed your contract. Uh, um, if you have vacation, vacation time vacation coming. Day, yes, yes, several weeks, in fact. Yes. Damn yes. right. See you goblins and ghouls out there. Good night and sweet screams. Uh, I, I suppose we should do the ending announcement of the zombie. Yeah, yes. Uh, um, um, this has been Joy and Rapture's Matinee of Madness. Yes. Uh, tune in next week for another horror movie. We are. <laughs>
Ha, 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 ha.